We have team coverage to get to with this story. Danielle Miskell and Tyler Melito standing by at Henry Clay. We begin with Danielle, and Danielle, tell us exactly what happened today and what police and school officials are saying about it. Well, Fayette County school officials did tell us that it was a 15 year old male who brought the loaded gun here to Henry Clay High School and it created such an intense morning for everyone here. But thankfully, no one was harmed. This is what we know. Henry Clay High School has metal detectors at all access points of the campus and it's the school's protocol to also search students bags. And as of now, it is still under investigation how the loaded gun got past security. School leaders say that a student told a school resource officer that they saw another student with what looked like a gun and that's when FCPS police located that student, confiscated his bag and found the loaded gun. That minor has now been charged with possession of a weapon on school property. We do not have any reason to believe the student intended to use the weapon. We have not found any credible evidence that threats were ever made against our students, staff or campus. Now, school was not canceled today. In fact, students had the option to either continue with their classes or have their parents come and pick them up here today. And school will resume or be open tomorrow. We're going to go ahead and continue our team coverage with my colleague, Tyler Melito. He is standing outside of the gym right now. Tyler and I were out here all day, and we felt how scary this was for so many of the students and their parents who were standing in line for over an hour in their cars just to pick up their kids. Tyler, over to you. I watched as parents waited to reunite with their children, minutes feeling like hours, waiting to see if their child was okay. Oh, I was scared. I was like, I'm on my way. I told my job, hey, you know, they didn't have a problem with it. They told me to just go ahead and go. Um, but it could be anything and I'm going to be here, you know. But this here, I was like, oh my God, this is not happening. Family members of students at Henry Clay High School say it was only a matter of time before the school got locked down with so many school shootings in recent years. My daughter doesn't have a phone yet, so I wasn't able to get a message from her saying that she was okay or anything. So, pretty worried. History, recent history dictates and tells us right now that we should expect this. And I think that's a really sad statement for where we are as a country. And you know, we're putting through our kids through trauma every time that they have to go through something like this. Some parents praise the school and how it handled the situation. I can tell you that the process, as it is imposed by the school, they handle things. They take care of things. Mr. Little is to be congratulated. The teachers do a good job. I, I rest easier as a parent. I'm not concerned. My, I know my daughter will be in good hands, and uh, it's, it's that simple. While others are wondering how could something like this happen despite the safety measures in place. For sure. That, that was one of my first questions was um, how in the world does a person or three, if that's what it was, get through the metal detectors that my kids go through every single day um, and still get to the point where they're walking around the school with guns in their hands. Absolutely. Because this is scary and, and it's happening way too much in the school, you know. So hopefully this will be it. But yeah. School officials say that classes will resume tomorrow, as Danielle mentioned a little bit earlier. But one parent told Fox 56 she plans on keeping her child home from school now through the weekend out of concern. Reporting outside of Henry Clay High School in Lexington, Tyler Melito, Fox 56 News. Danielle and Tyler, thank you.